Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have another 3D printed mousetrap to show you that was invented by one of my YouTube viewers named Drew from Indiana. Drew is 16 years old and he invented a really cool modification on a classic style trap. This is the same basic design we've seen before with the mice cube and the Lego trap. It's just a holding chamber with a front door on a hinge. They go in there and get caught. Now what I like so much about Drew's version of this trap is sometimes mice go in there and they pee and poop all night and it's hard to clean. So we came up with a removable base that you can take out. You can wash this up and put it back in there. It says food, so it's easy to bait, and you slide it in. The door there says free food inside. Also, he came up with a little tool if you don't want to stick your fingers down there to release it. You can put that in there and let the mice go. I know these style traps work. Let's go test it out with our pet mice, see if they'll go in there and get caught. Then we'll test it out with motion cameras in the barn and try to get some wild deer mice. Our gray mouse Jerry matches the color of the trap, so we'll use him for this test. See if he goes in there. Well, Jerry went in there and got caught. You can see his tail sticking out. I'm going to use this tool, let him go. We'll lift up the door, then go test this trap out with wild mice in the barn. Last night we set up Drew's 3D printed mouse trap in the barn. Through the vent here I can see some fur so the mouse went in through the one way door, tried to get the bait and got caught. Since this is a live catch trap we're going to let him go and to do that I'm going to use the tool Drew included. You just pull the door back like this and let the mouse out. That mouse really likes it in there, he keeps biting the stick that I'm trying to push him out with. Well there he goes, the trap worked well and it's easy to clean. I just got to wash off all that pee and poop and then we can reset it. 